Hello. Hello. Oh, how are you doing, man? I'm doing quite good. How are you? Is the, is the uh, microphone working properly? Yeah, the mic. The mic's fine. What about the screen share? Is there anything wrong with that? Uh, no, nothing wrong with it either. Yeah, I've been watching your stream. I mean, congratulations on your stream. It's really, really good. I think it's better than last one because you explain it in depth. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> no, honestly, it is. No, I don't good. say that. I hope you do well because at the moment you don't have many viewers, but you definitely deserve a lot more. Thank you. Hey, it's it's quite uh, new, so. Say know. it again. It's it's quite a new stream. Oh really? Yeah. When did you start streaming? About three four weeks ago. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's very that's very 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 new. Then. Yeah. Right. These classes, I don't I don't really like them. I, I don't. I played shaman, and that's kind of shit. Priest is um. I kind of avoid them. Druid is okay. In fact. Really? I've got a seven with I think these are like on the topper limit of classes. Yeah, I heard, I heard Priest is like amazing now, isn't it? Yeah, What's Priest, the, priest is one of the best classes now. And Shaman and Druid are like also pretty good. You know, like it, it, priest, priest, Mage and Paladin are like the best three. And then like the, the next right below them is Shaman, Shaman and Druid maybe. So. Oh, so Priest is sort of, um, it wasn't top tier. No, it was not at all. But GVG, all their cards they got are all good. Well, except yeah, for I've maybe the Epic, but you'll never see the Epic, so that doesn't even matter. Yeah, I've seen actually their cards like Shrink Mask, Meister. Yeah. Isn't it? Common. That's really good. Yeah. Shall we, shall we pick the most overpowered one, then? Priest. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want gold. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. It's Christmas. You want some presents. Shall I do it, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Shit, man. Uh, some walk of like Naru. I don't think Master spells that. Um, it's very situational. Yeah. Even though it draws a card. Yeah. So I think not, not, not like Naru can give you a lot of tempo because it's very cheap. So let's say we get a two drop or one drop, we can put it on there. No, actually, that's not. Actually, it'll be a. Uh, uh, you can call, you can say it's a one. No, no, no. That's not a one drop because it, you need to, to have a damaged creature. Yeah. So that's more like a mid game. Yeah. So I don't know whether that makes it better or worse. What was your experience with that? Um, Lightning is is good if you already have synergy. Like if you have a cleric and, and or a you know soul priest, then it's amazing because you know you soul priest and then it's like deal three damage, summon a creature. Um, but right now we don't know what deck we're gonna have. We don't know if we have the combo. And Sunwalker is just amazing by itself. So uh, it's gonna be the more I consistent agree. pick overall. So that's why we pick it up here. Shit, this is hard. Now, you, no, I understand your logic is very good. Um, this one's very good, but Paladins can wreck us with humility. Mm -hmm. So this do mages. Solid. Mages also wreck you with with all the freezes. No, you're right. yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. A mage as well. This one's solid because it can give us two for one on the one or two drops. Mm -hmm. It'll buff mm -hmm. our two threes. This one's very good as well. I'll say this one because it's solid. Yeah, I, I, I think this that that one also is better because um if you're going second you can you can put you can coin out a three drop and then play play shattered and but boost it up and you tend to have dark cultists and whatnot. So you tend to have a, a high number of threes. Uh, it's it's a safer pick. The only weakness is that you need to have early game. If you don't have early game, it's useless. But uh, Priest needs to draft early game aggressively, so we'll usually have early game in our in our uh, in our deck. Um, Silver and Knight is also good, but uh, Shattered I feel is a safer pick. Sure, and some some guy said said that. Already. Yeah, this is the, a guy told me classes that need, need more lower drops. Rogue Warrior, Druid, Warlock, Priest. Anything that yeah. can't really ping effectively. Yeah, exactly. He said that they don't have any like comeback yeah. uh, mechanism, like Faint Strike, etc. Okay, cool. So, uh, Shat Sun Cleric? Yep. Ah, uh, shit. These two, that's crap. This one's very good, and this for tempo. Uh, and this one's very good as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll say a Harvest Gun. Yeah, here I'd also pick up the Harvest Gun. It, it, uh, if we, if we look at our our deck right now, 
Harvest Gum gives us a guaranteed target for the Shattered. And the, uh, the power of the, the, the shield is also really good, though. But, um, you have to have early game if you want the shield. Or, or even late game. But if you don't have any early game, uh, by the time you play the shield, you'll already be losing. So, you, you have to have early game. Yeah, you're right. It'll be dead card, wouldn't it? Yeah. And, right, um, Fem Creep is not bad. That Too rough bad. for me. Ooh, a it's British guy. It's Juke, though. Yeah, oh. Juke sounds icky. Okay, it's Juke. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> You're from Texas, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely from Texas, yeah. Yeah, some of my relatives are from Texas. Ah. Uh. I heard it's really nice there, <laughs> for George Bush. At times. <laughs> At times. Yeah, here I'll, I'll pick up the Fen Creeper. Uh, it's the best card out of the, the picks. Uh, we already have enough threes, so we don't need to pick up a bad one in, uh... It's it's uh ghoul so, is bad in this one's not in, this one's you have, you rate that it, yeah it's bad in the priest because you tend to not you tend to like heal your stuff you don't tend to trade everything okay I got you got you yeah it makes sense like three master because you can do combos with it and it's better than the rest yep yeah you can do combos is better than the rest yeah. quite easy. Wow. This is this is actually quite a hard pick. I think this one's good, but these ones are better than this one. Yeah. And I think this one's really good. Yeah. Amazing. I agree with everything. <laughs> Just that that one's good, <laughs> but those ones are better. But that one's like best. Yep. Okay. Um. Well, this one can be quite good. So let's say you got a, a turn two drop, and then you got turn three, but you only have a two drop in turn three. Then you have this in the two drop that will give you the tempo. This one's just good on itself. This one's crap. There's two situations. <laughs> so it's either these two. One of these. What, which one would you recommend? Alright, so... I'd say this one's quite the best time. Huh? But this one can be fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I, I'd say, like, if you have nothing in your hand, right, and you're trying to top deck and you need something, the Raptor will, will save you more often. And uh, the Raptor means you have something. You always have something to play where... Your only smite only works if they they have something if they play something right so even if you you keep the holy smite to smite their two drop and and they play like a two three then you're then you're after or if they if they don't play nothing then you've just wasted your turn so so I'd pick up the two drop because it's always you're always gonna have it to play it down it's it's so never gonna just more, stay in your hand. So you prefer more minions, do you? I I or don't you but. Uh, two. I prefer two drops over like spells, cause spells can be really situational while two drops are not. Yo, how come you left the party so early? Oh, hey. It must be from that. Uh, I had I had work I think, to do. I think Gurubashi is the best. Yeah, I agree. The, the other two are quite weak. Is is the main issue, and we have already a s two six drops, so we don't really need uh, another another six drop. So I think our curves are alright. We've got like four big creatures, and yeah, it's dogs. quite fine so far. Yeah. I don't. I, th I, th I think Rasma and other streamers they don't really like picking cards that, cards that let you draw cards because it loses to your tempo. I mean, if you have this in turn, you you have to it's play it like a late game card. Anytime there's a card that draws you cards, you play like a late game card. You play it. You play it like it's a. It's like a Boulder Fist Ogre or a Mech Tank. That's how you play the card. You play it very late. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the best pick out of the three. Yeah, it's, it's, right? it's also the best pick, so I pick up the Arclight Pain here. Okay, got it. Yeah, I, I, I don't really care too much. It's not too bad for me. You, you just have to use it correctly. I this one, I saw you use it yesterday about with... Um, Freezes and stuff. Didn't you? Yeah, you can it, you can use it offensively or defensively. But, the, but these two, I'd say, I don't know when you look at your. Uh, I look at the curve right? like pick four. Right. <laughs> so we need twos and we need threes. Yeah. So these ones, like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know about this one, but this one's really good with mage. But I don't know what's your oh, with priest. I don't know how good this is. It's all right in priest. The you can heal it up, so you can you can keep getting the. Uh, the imps, but it's a little slow. It's a little slow to heal that card up. It doesn't have enough attack to be relevant uh, past the early game. Okay so, okay, so what are these two? So, so you reckon it's these two? I feel Wailing Soul counters your deck so far. 
right? It, it, yeah. it, it'll kill your Harvest Gloom, it'll kill the Shattered buff, it'll kill the Pain, it'll kill the Berserker buff, it'll kill the ta the Sunwalker Divine Shield, it'll kill the Temple Enforcer <laughs> buff. So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't pick it here. I'd pick up the Wild Pyromancer. Wild, Wild Pyromancer can affect can oh, help. Yeah, Wild Pyromancer really yeah it, it can help oh. with your Arc Life Pain and your Gurubashi Berserker so far. So there's there's synergy cool. there. No, that's a very good point. Is again, yeah. but that's that's crap. Yep. That's crap. Yep. This one. Yeah, you, there's no choice. You, you're forced to pick <laughs> yeah, that. No choice. Um, this one's bad. These two, one of these two. Yeah. I, think, I mean, this one's. You said that we're gonna get a lot of uh, low drops, so this one would be quite useful, and this one's sticky, and we can get well. If we get enough two drops and one drops, this would be quite useful. This one is useful as well, but I don't think it's that good in the arena. I mean this one. War, war, uh, Frostwolf Warlord. <laughs> I don't really like Frostwolf Warlord too much in a priest because if when it's bad, it's really bad. But when it's good, it's okay. It does like you'll never get a seven seven with priest. I mean, unless you've already won. You know, then you're just you're just you're you're like bragging, but when when you're yeah. trying to like come back, it, it's 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 gonna be either a a four four or a five five most of the time. So I don't really like it in priest because it doesn't it doesn't help you come back uh, at all. I think Argent Squire is a little weak uh, in priest. There's there's you don't you don't buff well. You do have a buff, but it's rare. You know, it's like a lot better in shaman and stuff, but. Here I'd pick up the Grizzly. It's probably the least. Uh... But isn't that isn't the five five part for five mana quite decent? It's like a low fed, but without the ability. I thought that for mana for stats. Right? It's okay, but sometimes the problem is sometimes it's gonna be a four four for five, which is horrible, right? When you're losing, it's gonna be horrendous, and when you're winning, then you're already winning. But when you're losing, it's gonna be horrendous. And as a priest, you you don't tend to spam minions like. Like if this was Paladin, if this was Shaman, we'd pick it up for sure. But as a priest, you tend not to spam minions as, as much as other classes. No, so, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I don't play priest at all, so yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Okay, Ogre, because it's a beast. We don't. I mean, we don't have any mechs, so this one's shit as well. This yeah. one. Yeah, I'll ogre. pick up the Ogre here. Yeah, damn right. Uh, I'm going to <laughs> Six. <laughs> this one? Yeah, I, I, I still pick it over the smite. I think. It's a beast. Yeah, but now we have to draft what? very, very early, very aggressive. We have enough sixes and sevens, I feel. No no more Temple Enforcers for now. Okay, got it. So it's pain. Yeah, it yeah, we pick up the pain here. I remember you said that you'd never use it unless. For example, I remember you saved it on a three-five before. That's very clever. Yeah. Rather than going away three-two. Yeah. So uh, I think that's very useful. The same with Rasmus. He told me like on his on his stream, yeah, he said um, don't use the frost bolt, for example, on a three-two. Save it for a five. If you're a mage, if you're well, you are a mage. If you well, you know, as a mage, you can do two pins and the frost frost bolt, and that would do uh, kill off a five uh, health creature. Yeah. Right, we're lacking four drops. This one's quite good, has a four drop, and this one's good. We don't have any uh, mind control re uh, recon like um, <laughs> that we can steal it permanently, so that's not happening. And I don't think that's a good idea because drafting for combos, you know, on the arena deck is not good. So I say the four drop. Nah, Shrink Master is just OP. It's super powerful. It's it's really a very overpowered. I'd I'd pick it over a lot of things. Even even no, with the curve, point, yeah. it it it, 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 it lets you guarantee like more two drops, and if it's if it if you draw late, it's really powerful. No, uh, you're right about it because it guarantees you trades. Yeah. It? I mean, the ooze because the weapons are. I mean, six out of nine classes have weapons, something like that. I know. Well, every time yeah. you see a brewmaster, you have to look at how much battle cry you have. You have one, you have the. Shattered, and you have the two temple enforcers. That's okay, but I don't. I don't know if it's enough. I don't know if it's enough to pick it over the ooze. I'd pick up the ooze. How many would you? How many battle battle cries would you want? I don't know. Just whatever I feel is enough. <laughs> 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 I 
it's 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 not a it's it's not anything set in stone. There's there's no rule. It's just whatever you feel. If if you feel it it could be better than the ooze. Nothing's really set no, in stone. You're yeah. right, you're right. I think it's easy, really good. Yeah, I think. Pick... Like, yeah. We and we already have one. We already have a brewmaster, so we don't have to pick up another one aggressively. Here you're forced. You're forced to make one pick. You're just yeah. forced into the berserker. Uh, there's no. Yeah. Uh, the other two are just horrible. We got a lot of twos now. We got like seven. So seven, uh, six minutes. Juke. And it's Lotso Hugging Bear. Who's who's the special guest right now? Yeah, it's Lotso Hugging Bears. Yeah. Hey everybody. I'm on. Educated Collins TV, man. Awesome. <laughs> right, Holy Nova, because we need uh, something. Yep, uh, Holy hey, Nova. Sweet. Go to our quite weak compared to it. That's sick. Yeah, these are all Down good on. picks. Shit. Got a lot of big drops. Yeah, we do. I seen, I seen it yesterday to use this, man. <laughs> I'm a bit wary of this now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your games, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 it lost me two games yeah. yesterday, but it it's know. probably won me like four or five games and lost me two. And uh, and even the the games I lost was all super close. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So what do you reckon? These this one's well, that, you said they're now. This one's not so good. You said we don't use minions, so if they they got minions, we're going to lose anyway. So it's either these two. Oh, it's between no, it's between the C Gen and Golem. C Gen is insane. Uh, you get it, you can get it out super early, and then and then they lose. Like if you get C Gen out on turn five against a Druid or something, you you pretty much won because they can't kill it. Especially as a priest, the high higher health minions are more important. I think I pick up the C Gen. Um, we have a ton of sixes, right? So we don't, we're not, we're, we're going to be clogged in the six if we pick up the pilot square Kai Golem, and you can you can get out C Giants. Uh, uh, quite, Early, quite right? quick, yeah. So I'd pick it oh, up I here. See. That's very good logic, yeah. Okay. Go for this back one. Shit, um, I'm gonna go. So you're six two drops. Yep. No, no, you're yeah, six two drops. Mhm. Mm uh, well, two novas. I think that's too much. I think shadow web pain. That's always useful. No, I think two novas is fine. And I, I, I feel, a uh, priest, priest lose to AOE, spam. I mean, like to to minion spam or big or big minions, right? We have our own big minions to counter their big minions, but we have nothing to deal with AOE spam except for the wild pyromancer also. So I pick up. Quite good. Yeah. I pick up the holy nova here. Okay. We already have one death, uh, which is I mean one pain, which is fine. Yeti, because we're gonna have four drops. Yeah, yeah, you have to pick the yeti. We have no four drops. Oh yeah, I remember you said you only use try to draft one pain and one death in the deck, isn't it? I remember that. Something like that. You, yeah. <laughs> you don't don't take my word a hundred percent. But you can you can draft like two if you need. Pain is easier to use than than death yeah. is. This one. But sometimes one sometimes pains will get clogged in your hand and, and death will do the same thing. Yeah, but we we'll definitely pick up the shrink meister for sure. It's so insane. Oh, the fast death in shit. It's not that fast. <laughs> shit, it I feels kind of slow to me. This one. Yeah, for sure. Okay. The other two are unplayable, and especially in this deck. Why is this a slow deck? Because um, we have we have a lot of twos. Surely we'll get um, board control. Maybe. Isn't it? Oh, we do the whole okay. thing, crack crack. Uh, just we do the whole thing. Hmm. I mean, I mean. Do you want another shot at Acolyte Pain? That's a bit too How much draw do we have, <laughs> though, in, in general? I feel that's our only draw so far. Yes, right. So you may, we may as well take another one, right? Since we have no draw. Okay. Yum Yumus wants to I tell see. you that your accent is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Shadow Word Death? Yeah, I'll pick up. I, 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 I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't like yeah. thought steal too much in arena. I feel people use it very incorrectly. They, you have to use it like arcane intellect, right? And you have to use arcane intellect like a late game card, like you're playing, like you're playing a 
uh, iron bark. You have to use it very late game. Like it, you have to. It has to be like the last card in your hand, and then you draw. You know, so it it tends yeah, to it tends to be late late game. But we already have a enough late game. We just need to deal with m their big minions. So I pick up the death here, just in case they surprise us with a big minion. We can death it. Uh, come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's the thing. This, this deck is awesome, isn't it? Jeez, you got some, you got some sort of special uh, <laughs> easy mode. <laughs> easy mode. That's, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking. Recom. Um, recom's quite good for big minions, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, for Giant, yeah. If you recom a sea giant, you're guaranteed Deathwing or or healed up the sea giant. Oh, actually, I thought this was actually enemy minions. No, 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 it's every not. minion, right? If if you if you actually want to pick it, you have to look at all of your cards and see what which ones would die, which ones would live. Uh, one thing to note is the Arclight of Pain, it would be good. It, you know, you draw for it, from it, but all your two drops would die from it. Um, your Grizzly, a lot of your three drops, a lot of your stuff would be at, like, one health or they'd die. Um, which is interesting, yeah. yeah. So it's it's actually Sorry. counter counter. It, you have to use it like AOE, but we don't need AOE since we have double Holy Nova. So I'd probably pick up the Recombobulator here. I just repeat, I just pick this because it's fun. It's awesome. I I think it can be used strategically quite well. <laughs> okay. A silence. No, uh, silence is horrible. Uh, never, never pick uh, silence. It's, it's it's a horrendously bad card. It it does nothing. It uh it does nothing at all. It's between the Argent Squire or the Death. But you know, you'll Death will save you more than the Argent Squire will, will help you out. So I'll pick up the de second Death. We have we have to throw away all our debts and pains because we'll draw into them. How we got? You lying about that one? Well, we've got um, we've got loads of free drops. We're missing four drops, but I suppose this one's quite good. Yeah. Oh, this one's still good, yeah. Yeah. The, Wolf, we don't need Wolf Rider, and uh, Spire Tank's a good card, and uh, that still's unnecessary. We, we have enough late game and draw. I feel. This deck is crazy, man. Is Holy it? Shit. I think it's fine. Is it? It's not that great. It's all right. <laughs> I, I've seen better. I've. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other cards are horrible, especially in a uh, priest. So we pick up the knife juggler. You must have seen some crazy decks then, because this looks mental. It's it's because of the drafting. It's it, you draft the draft went correctly, so it looks powerful. I think it's I think it's all right. Hey, we got a follower. Hey, hey, diagnostic. Seven, welcome to the Educated Army. Nice to see you arrive. Nice to see you here. I don't. Um, you're. Are you playing on EU or NA? For me. Yeah, you're in EU, right? EU. Yeah. Okay. EU. Let me let me swap over to my EU. Uh, okay. Real quick, and we can uh, we can start spectating, start watching you. Get these things done. Oh sweet, that's like uh, real time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real time. Okay. Mech demands his own drop slot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, four drops are pretty terrible. Right? Yeah, the four drops are, but it'll be fine. Yeah. These are late games, so three drops when you have four threes, it's quite good. Um, I think I've always. Okay, yeah, I think it's good. Jobs, I'm gonna go mental. Hmm? <laughs> In a mulligan. Cause that's that would be bad one. Yeah, I, I I value two drops very highly in uh in priest. Cause if you okay, if you skip um almost every class, if you skip two turns you I, I feel you've lost. If you skip a two or three or or something, you the game is over for you. And and that happens very often with priests. Priests, uh, they they don't know. A lot of people draft uh, very. They pick all the the mad the mind controls and stuff they see, and they end up having not enough two drops. And then they skip their turn two, and then they somehow they magically skip their turn three. Although thought their thoughts steal my god, and then they lose. I used to, do, huh? I used to just pick best value rather than 
uh, looking for the curve, but, but uh, I've actually started drafting more two drops. You look, you look good. I mean, it looks like you play arena a lot. Yeah, I play arena a lot. All right, what's your um, what's your ID? Uh, what is my ID? Times. Time is two seven two four. Yeah, two seven two four. Did you get it? Yeah, do you mind waiting like a, a few a minute? I just need to get. Yeah, you can wait. I, 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 I'm patient. There's no issues there. Okay, I'm just gonna get a cup of tea. Just give me a sec. Okay. Hey Lavic, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Um, everything's been all, all hunky dory. Turn four four fourteen Death Lord the dream. Turn four four fourteen Death Lord. I'm just gonna get a cup of tea. <laughs> Love this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. I would never. I, I. I'd almost probably never say that. <laughs> how's How's the music? How, is the music uh? Loud, not too loud, good enough. So taking notes here, Priest is my weakest, so this is helping a lot. Alright, I'm glad it's helping. Music is pretty quiet right now. One notch maybe. All right. I I like I like it being quiet when I'm uh, doing the picks because uh, I think that's really important for you guys to hear. But after that, after the picks are done, then you know, let's let's uh let's crank it up. Get this party started. That's when someone like hits the music button. <laughs> There's a button on the wall that just says music. <laughs> Welcome back. How you doing? So, I assume you look at. Oh, yeah. You can't even look at the deck. But uh, what special things should I look? Should I uh, be aware of in the deck? I know there's. Um, like, uh, the fact that you have two holy like novas. Them. The fact that you have two pains, two deaths. You have a lot of six drops, and you have uh, two shrink masters. Okay, shrink masters. Yeah. So I can do the holy nova while pyromancer pyram pyram combo. Oh uh, yeah. Also, and pyromancer is really strong in this deck. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, um, should we go? Yeah, let's. Uh, uh, have I added you? I don't think I, I don't. Th actually, I don't think I added you. Did I? Did I? Did I? Can you show me again? Time. Oh, time is X. Okay, I, I actually got it wrong. It's alright. Okay, this deck looks awesome. Okay. It's alright. Actually, I actually have a problem with the. Uh, I feel like drafting is not very good. And yeah, drafting's a drafting's a tough beast to crack. Because uh, everyone has their own opinions. Okay, we can start now. And so yeah, and I don't know if anyone's opinion is 
a hundred percent correct you can just try to increase it as much as you can play more arenas learn a little bit more about the matchups and what's missing in the deck it's weird because uh you know there's some expectations when you draft right oh like oh I, I should get two drafts right and then you get a you get a draft where there's you get offered no two drafts and then you're like oh you know what do i do here yeah i hate that normally when i don't get like you said yeah turn one turn two turn three pay, play i'm dead yeah you're already you're already lost if, if, you, if you have nothing like that all right, we don't we don't want to keep pain. Like pain is a late game card, so never keep it. Uh, so we only keep the two, and that's that's fine. Is it okay? Yeah. Cool. Oh, let me uh let me swap over to uh. Oh shit, we're all pain. Yeah, go for it. Right. Um. Okay. It looks like we'll play the ooze turn turn two. Should I stop spectating then? We wouldn't just talk on the mic. Would it be uh, better audio or something? Uh, it, oh, it, probably, it probably makes no difference. All right, we'll play the. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Play the raptor or something. It does play a two drop. It doesn't matter. Damn, he's going for uh, Zombie Chow, that's like the best one of yeah, the best Yeah, Zombie Chow is one of the best early starts. So I'm not having the same deck. This not. guy's accent is perfect, wow. <laughs> Everyone loves Thank your you. accent. Well, Americans do like their accents, don't they? Yeah, they do. I don't, I don't particularly care, but uh, other people do. I saw the uh, Royal Family visit America. Lots of people in that mental. Oh, no two drop. That's it, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <Play> oh, <laughs> oh, man. I love that. <laughs> what? Yes! Victory! That was hilarious. Imagine if we had a Shrink Meister. We'd be super behind. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be yeah. That's, that, that's why I'm saying Strengthmeister is super powerful. It's, it's amazing if you have like a Worgen or a Zombie Chow start and you just Strengthmeister to a 2 drop. Alright, so he's coining out a 4 drop. Alright, so this is where the pain comes in. I didn't do that. He coined it out, just play pain. Oh, yes, forgot about that. Thank you very much, sucker. All right, we'll play now, the um, we'll we'll attack, we'll attack, and then we'll play the shrink meister. So you don't obviously you want two minions rather than bouncing it back. Yeah, uh, yeah, two minions is better. Yeah, I agree. I agree. This one, yeah. Yeah. It's like um, it's like the brewmaster where you have to play, you have to uh, bounce something back. You yeah. Have to yeah. Do something like that. That's why sometimes you, if you only have two two drops, you play Brewmaster first. Because if they have nothing, then you slow down your your curve. It's pretty bad for us because Holy Nova is on five mana. So next turn, you can Holy Nova us. Potentially. Huh. Fair enough. Alright, play the Shrink Meister again and, and shrink it to zero. Shrink it to negative one oh. so it heals you. Oh, the value. No, I'm kidding. Are you serious? <laughs> you can do that. I thought um, it wouldn't shrink below zero. No, no, it doesn't. Really? It doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just attack, yeah. 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 Attack and heal. Yeah. Heal. Well, it doesn't matter. Just heal something. And attack his face. One of them was on a bounce attack, maybe later. Yeah. That'd be sick. Right. Oh, I don't hold him over us. Yeah, he could. Actually, he could know because us. We'd be screwed, wouldn't we? We would be screwed. We have a lot of six drops. Oh, okay. It's it's just we'll he'll he'll get a three we for one. Got two drops, so we might never see a six drop until it's too late. Maybe, At maybe least. not. We'll see. I feel like he would have holding over it already, but maybe he's just holding it. 
Maybe he's really thinking, is this worth it? Three for one? Is it, is it really worth it? <coughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, yeah, I don't think he has it. It'd be, it's obvious it'd be definitely worth it, wouldn't it? I, I don't think he's got a good play. Because Maybe, I, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll wait until he makes this play, then. Judge his play. Oh, wow, okay. That's horrible. That's a, that's actually horrible. However, we have one thought, Holy Nova, in our deck, so he could have drawn it. Yeah, that's true. So what? Should we use a... Bring back one of our dudes, then? I yes, yes, we should. Because uh, if he Holy Nova's... We want we want to have one in there. So attack, attack, and then and then shrink it back. Hey, hey, Tokyo Ghoul opening. <laughs> Shit, man, you're right about that. Sort of two things that's really bad. Yeah. But did that? No. No, 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 no. He could have drawn the Holy Nova. You just keep it in your hand, threatening him with the with the shrink. Okay. So you normally put. Leave that to me that if you're um, if you're fearful of AoE, or you normally put down three. I put down two. Two, okay. I put down two and a bunch of useless minions. <laughs> All the minions are good though. Like you can have Haunted Creeper tokens. Sure, I don't care. Yeah, her taunted creep is not very good now. No, I, no, I, I, I know Ratsma said that, but I still think it's really powerful. It, it, it gives you extra reach. That's what I think about it. Like the, the, the little, the little tokens are annoying. They're annoying to deal with. You know. If he explains reach business, reach and. Uh, reach is like ex it gives you, the more options for your next turn. It, you you have more with the extra minions uh, the creeper gives you you have two more extra damage that you can use to deal with whatever like that that's why I like direwolf alpha like it if he if he summons like you know like a five four right hoping that we double trade we play the direwolf and then we kill if we kill it off oh that's a bad move man you got a shrimp by stuff no it's a, it's fine. It's actually we fine. Actually Nova. No, actually, that's fine. Hope Nova. No, that's Nova. That's a two for two. Wouldn't it? Yeah, I just put a Sunwalker. Okay. Sunwalker. I'll just go for the face. Uh, there's no point killing and it. And you'll be quite aggressive then to uh, the face. Huh? I'm more normally quite clear. No, no, no. I'm, I'm very, I'm very control. I am super control. Exa there's no point double two for winning yourself though. Uh, you yeah. you miss let him to let him do the two for one right. Let him find the answer to the two for one right. Because with this, he if he has no answer right, and it's it's likely since he didn't holy nova last turn or anything, and he also doesn't he can't he's a priest right, so he can't he can't hit the four five. So if he has no answer right, he has to attack and then attack again, meaning that he'll have a four one. And we'll have a four-one, right? Then we get the we get the opportunity to do whatever we want. You see, so he has no answer, right? So he's trading into us, right? That's that's my oh, point. We no, no, I should have death. <laughs> In our fire. Deadly. All right, we're double deathing him. Whoa! I need four. Double deathing. Him. Yeah, Whoa. we're double deathing him. When I saw the sea giant, I was getting a bit greedy. Yeah, see, John would be greedy. All right, now let's see. Right, all right, double attack. Okay. Now the question here is: Does um, would playing the shrink meister kill him next turn? Right, he would heal up to ten, and then we would we would hit him with the shrink meister and then holy nova finish. So it would. So it kill the shrink meister. So we will play the shrink. Yeah. Because if he has no answer, we kill him. But if he does have an answer, we're screwed, aren't we? No, we'll, we'll play Sea Giant. Okay. Right, if he, if he Holy Novus plays a minion, right, then we have we Sea Giant for, for 9. Yeah, I think he's man. <laughs> How much is Sea Giant normally? Is it 12? Yeah. It's like an other giant. It's ten. It's ten. 
It's really good in the arena because. All right. Oh, nice. Yeah, he had no answer. Yeah, that was really good. But hey, Samuel Fury. You actually told me a lot about the um, plays. Huh? Because normally I wouldn't shrink Meister down, but I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I, I try to explain the plays as as we do them. Hey, hey, Samuel yeah. Fury. Later, can you please go over picking an arena decky later? Hey, and men idea. Hey, Colin. So if you hadn't had the Taunt Sunwalker, would you have traded his Mech Yeti? It's a dance. Hey, Dan, Dan. C oh wait, I know you're, you're. You've been here forever. <laughs> I've seen the light. Um. Well, we've got Shrink Meister. So if we didn't play the, didn't have the. Um, no, uh, no, because I would have put it into a two, a two five, and it would still double. The three twos would still die to it. Would I have oh, traded the? Uh, I think I might have Holy Nova if uh, if yeah, we if if we didn't draw the the Sunwalker. Yeah, that would be two for two, so it wouldn't be gaining anything, but that would still be the right play, wouldn't it? Yeah. So keep the keep the Recombobulator, throw away the, and the Shrink Meister, throw away the Fen Creeper. We keep the high, we keep the low cost, we throw away the high cost. E is silent. Umen idea, Umen idea. I I know you told me that before. No, 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 no. We keep the Shrink Meister. Oh shit! Sorry, I, All my right. yeah, yeah, Shrink Meister is really strong early, really strong late. So you may as well keep it early since it's a playable two drop. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. It's but, fine. Um, it's fine. So we keep the ooze because we have all this true silver. I'm scared of that. Yeah, we'll most likely we'll keep the ooze. We'll play the recombobulator, which is why the Shrink Meister would have been good here. We we could have uh, if he played a like imagine and let's let's imagine if we had a Shrink Meister. Play the rec recombobulator though. Yeah. yeah, if you had a string master, then no, no, no. If he played, if he played something with two health, then it would have the string master would have been really good. Oh shit! No, that's true. Uh, hmm. Don't play ooze, yeah, because you can't do anything else. No, no, no. Trade and play the. Trade the brew. Trade and trade and play the brew. Okay. Three fours are gonna wreck us because we have a bunch of three twos. Like all our, our her deck is just three twos. Yeah, we that's, we just had a really bad mulligan. Right? Ooh. Right. Come on for a drop. Cannibal Yeti, got one. one but the, the Shrink Meister would have saved our uh, our our guy from dying. That's what would have happened, though. Yeah. We. Uh, play, play nothing. Play nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Well, why'd you say that? So I, I don't want to. I don't want to. Every time I play Ooze. Then they play the weapon immediately, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> that happens to me as well. Man. Yeah, so let's just let's just wait. Yeah, I hate that when that happens. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I I don't think having the two drop down here is that critical that uh, we'll lose because of it, right? I mean, the two drop is is going to be the same, right? And if it, if his next play was true silver, now he, now he, it looks dumb. Ooh, we could death this. We could, huh? Oh, but. It's not a good idea. The fan creeper, I suppose. Yeah, the fan creeper. You have to trade both minions. That's, That's probably a Venge, by the way. That's They're secret. Oh, right. we got an Ogre next time, so that's quite good. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. So the string meister lasts for his turn and your turn when you put it down. No, it lasts for one turn. Oh shit, that's not good. That's fine. Actually we can hide you over. No, no, we can't. Or is it worth it? No, really. No, we'll play the we'll play the uh, ogre. Okay. Well he obviously hasn't got any um Tomatoes. What? 
What does tomatoes have to do with anything? Who knows? Oh, Alright, so he has the hammer. Meaning that he might trade his 3-1 and the 1-1. Or the or the five three, and he's going with the three one and the one one, yeah, which is the better time. pick, arguably. All right, play the play the yeti and then play death. Now now we death because it's on our mana curve. That's gonna avenge is gonna trigger and it becomes a four three. Oh redemption! I wasn't expecting that. No, I wasn't either. Huh. But that's just normally they have avenge, so you can't. Yeah, normally they have avenge, but we got. I messed up. It's okay though. We have another death. We can draw into it. Alright, play the knife juggler. Knife juggler. And then sea giant. Oh, nice. You're right about that. Because the sea giant, it changes depending on the minions. Yeah. I never really play it, so I never take that into account. You've never played this? How do you have all this gold if you never, if you never played Arena? I mean, how do you, how do you never pick the sea giant in Arena? Um, I have, but um, I never really take into account. Normally, when I play it, it's it, it's a win more card. When I have played it, it's normally when I have the board. And I put it down. Oh. So it's never when I'm behind. Oh. Okay. Just unlike. <laughs> That's funny. What do you, I think we're doing. Well, we lost the uh, card advantage, but that doesn't, does that really matter? I thought it um, gives more options. It, it matters yeah. less when you're a priest, because you can just heal up your cards on the field. Board control is super important as, as a priest. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like 70% of the game, just having something on the board to control your opponents with. Um, That's fine. That's whatever. That's whatever. Alright, play the moment. play the Temple Enforcer. And then we hopefully hit this. Come on. Uh, if it doesn't, Watch we'll it. do it ourselves. Do it, do it yourself. Use your three five to hit it. Yep. And then heal it up. Yeah, you want to heal it past the the four the four attack of the spectral knight. Yeah, that's actually really good for us now, because he can't really do anything to us. Maybe he can. Okay. We'll we'll see. Quality, isn't it? You can have quality. Or, or no, 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 no. That seems like a waste of a quality. Oh, that's bad. Blessing of King's Heal. Okay. Shit, wouldn't be too late. No, that. Ooh. Ooh, Wild Pyromancer. Okay. That's okay. Okay, so attack the middle guy. Shit, attack the middle guy. And then Wild Pyromancer, Holy Nova, heal. Boom. No, 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 Wild Py Okay. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> oh man, that would have been that would have been horrible. All right, now now heal up the uh, the Temple Enforcer. Okay. That's insane, man. I never played Priest, but I really this really makes me uh, wonder if I should. Because Priest that is, is good. Insane. Uh, you just have to play. Priest is a thinking yes. class. You have to think every yeah. turn. Uh, so is shaman. Shaman's also a thinking class. You yeah, can I like you can like auto play thing. mage. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't like I don't really like aggro decks. Yeah. I you much prefer uh, thinking decks. Yeah. yeah. Right, that's gonna be a bench. I reckon. That's fine. Okay, so attack user at six five to hit the two three. Okay, so it's probably a bench. And it's eye for an eye. Or, or no, it's redemption, right? Okay, so play the put the Temple Enforcer on the Wild Pyromancer. And then 
It's probably gonna the redemption's probably gonna trigger. Repentance. Yeah, that's what I meant. Repentance. Yeah, and then kill Maybe. that. Yep. Blessing and then heal up the temple enforcer. Right. Yeah, it couldn't have been, um, what do you call it? Uh, what was that one that uh, hit that uh, revives the one drop? Redemption. That's the one I was talking redemption. about. Alright, use oh, the God. six no 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 save it save it save it save it use the six one to you wanna save cards uh when you can. Uh, this is a perfect play uh, actually actually okay wait heal up heal up the temple enforcement. Six five, yeah. yeah let's and get creative and then use that to kill the guardian of kings. Yep. And then use your Vod Pyromancer to hit the Trog. And then attack his face. Be? Attack his face with the sixth one. The Nova. And then time rewinder. The the sixth one Temple Enforcer the, the, on the right. Yep. Oh, that's a good. Blank and then man. play it again and play it on the the Temple Enforcer. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it died. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh man. That's my oh, fault. Shit. That's my fault. That's my fault. Normally that doesn't happen. Shit things can happen to the best arena players. Oh shit. Wow. Anyway, that's a good play because you actually saved that, so it's not a pretty good play. Because you still get tempo back. <sighs> I messed up. I, I like this messing up bothers me so much. Yeah, death it though. Yeah, that's good. It's only a problem if we uh if we lose. Exactly. Maybe. I don't know. I got people watching me. Everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna criticize my play <laughs> for all, <laughs> for the whole day. All right, heal, heal it up. Yeah, always, always heal your minions when you can. Okay. Man, that was my fault too. Don't be hard on yourself, man. Now nah, you gotta be hard on yourself, otherwise you're not gonna get better. That was a mistake. No, it wasn't. How does he know? He must have a good quality to consecrate. No, no, he's just saying stuff. He, yeah, he already lost. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, I need to get my top tape. I'll be right back as well. Okay.